Oh good, I'm alive. Let's get this gum off my face. Okay, oh good, I got my granddad's chicken. That's important. We survived. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. I can read. I can read. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. Uh -huh. The Red Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. I will. All right, let's stop the gas leak. Plug that up. Oh, use granddad's chicken. <laughs> okay. Wow. You're going to blow up? Don't blow up. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. All right, we need an object without any holes. Gum. Picking up the any gum. Items, you can stuff them in your pockets. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Yeah, I'll Try just put that in my slot. For your face. Stick that in there. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You Thank almost you. won. Thanks. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Those are my options. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, AI helmet talking thing. I'm going to use the interphone. Okay. Call for help. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. Crap. Antenna's busted. Got to go in outer space. No problem. I can do that. Let's the see. Increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Good. There's radiation. Love that. That uh, was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. Okay, very carefully. Oh, God. Space. You have broken the antenna completely. Now Come you will on. need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. What? You have a blueprint in the steering wheel? Why would we keep it, it there? It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. All right, connecting. Great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Thanks, though. Okay. Wow. Clearly, the ship that we were traveling on crashed. Oh, I think we were transporting my grandfather somewhere. Let's check out what we've got in here before we try to create a debugging station. Ah, uh, let's see. What do, what do, where do we start? A bathroom, okay? Press F to relieve yourself, okay? Oh, God. Oh, I'm peeing all over the place. Gross. We got first aid kit. Oh, I need a scanner to get the blueprint for it. Okay, don't have a scanner yet. I've played a little bit of this. I do understand what's going on. Hey, there's Grandpa. Bottle of beer. Yeah, it's just a bunch of crap around here. Gotta clean up this place after the crash. Oh, we can scan the plant, too. That's weird. What else do we have? Rubber. Oh, that's useful. We just learned how to make electrical tape. A back scratcher. I learned how to make a grabber. Beer can and a book. Apparently the ship crashed because we were attacked by the Green Universe, a terrorist group. I think they might be broccoli people. I'm not sure. Uh, we got a blueprint right here for a drill. Cool. All right, well, I cleaned up the place. There's not crap everywhere anymore. Just put it all over here in the corner. Oh, alcohol, blueprint. And I'll just drop all this stuff I picked up. That's not useful. These two things are useful. And yeah, this will just be our little trash pile in the corner. Okay, what else do we have? A bed that we can rest in, which I think will refill our health. Got a storage container. This is where we make stuff. Okay, we need to make something called a debugging station. Where is it? There it is. Two metal and one wire. Okay, well, let's get to it. So begins the resource gathering. Metal. This is ice. I'll take the ice. We can make a bottle of water with ice. Nutrition package. Okay, we're learning all kind of stuff. So you just find stuff to learn stuff. Easy. How about some metal? Can we find some metal? This might be metal. Yes, metal. We can learn how to make refined metal. More metal. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, More most metal. Of the of the liner died. Oh, this God. Might be the biggest Dead people. They didn't make it. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Aha! Wire. That's what we were looking for. Okay, oxygen is a problem. Bottom left corner of the screen. We're going to have to go back to the ship quite a bit. In the beginning, I do think there's a way that we can extend our oxygen. Uh, but for now, short trips in and out just to get what we need and craft stuff. Eventually, we've got to make our way to an extraction point, I think. But let's uh, one step at a time here. Cryptographic debugging station. This should if fix the sure radio. This is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Wow. So this is just a bunch of metal that I put together with some tape. Good for me. Uh, let's debug this thing. Yep. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's working. 
And let's call for help. The rescuer's arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Oh, God. Crap imposed by the developers. Let's see. Oh, I can make a handy scrapper now, so I'll take that thing and slot it down here. Here it is, crap imposed by the developers. I need refined metal and thick electrical tape, which means I need two rubber and some more metal. Okay, now with this stick in my hand, I think I can break these. Yes, I can. This should give me more metal. There we go. Babe, who's this calling me on my helmet phone? We should probably try to find her though. You know, because she's it a survivor to determine the coordinates of it's the my main motivation only works what else did it say i needed i don't remember but i'll tell you this metal was on the list so i'm getting more metal 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 i think it said we needed uh electrical tape which needed rubber the global funeral agency oh. the opening of the coffin will be break this an and an act of vandalism but no one will judge plastic you oh a battery you say something about a coffin oh yeah is it grandpa grandpa no that's definitely not oh sorry okay oxygen Okay, ah, ah, we're good. We're good. Back out. I saw a little radio or something. What is this? A tape recorder. Oh, that's got good stuff in it. Okay, battery, wire, plastic, and metal. Oh, we got a little container underneath the ship. Open. Oh, shears, but this is what we we're looking for. That's it. That's the rubber. Okay, I think I can make the electrical tape now. I needed two refined metal, one and two. Then I needed thick electrical tape. And now I can make crap imposed by the developers. All right, let's see what this does. <laughs> oh my God. We did it. I beat the, the game. The stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. Okay, we've got a mark on the map where we're going to be rescued at 1,600 meters away. There's no way I can get there right now. What is this? We, I think we all know what this looks like. Uh, it says I can hit myself with it. Why would, why would I do that? I'll do it again. Oh, good. I got a concussion. Oh, look at my health. Are you kidding me? That actually did damage to me. Let's install this in the trash pile. How about that? Yep. You're worthless. Thank you, developers, for making me make some crap. Well, if we're going to get 1,600 meters away, I've got to start looking around because we've got to find stuff that's going to improve my spacesuit and all of my tools and stuff so we can go further and further. So where do we even start? Let's just, I'm going to clear out this whole little thing right here first, I guess. Because it's the closest one to the ship. Plastic. Metal. Oh, some food. Nutrition packages and free water everywhere. Cool. Oh, that was not water. That was alcohol. Water, water, water. Sweet. Dead people. This thing. Break it. Get the stuff. Battery. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of metal. Because the durability on my little uh, stick here isn't very good. It's going to break soon. And I need three metal to make a new one. So basically a bunch of metal throughout the game is going to be needed. Oxygen. In fact, let me just go ahead and make a new handy scrapper now. Anything else worth a crap over here? What is this? Oh, fabric. Okay, we can make rolls of fabric. More plastic. Another thing. Battery. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, God, another thing. Wow, containers everywhere. New scrapper. Open, open. Yes, yes, yes. Babe, will you stop bothering me? My God, she is, she is persistent. Having flashbacks of Subnautica right now with this oxygen thing. Ah. All right, where should I go next? Someplace close, not too far away. We got something straight down from us over there. Ooh, we got a big chunk below us over there. Uh, looks like, oh yeah, there's some stuff that way. All right, let's go. Oh, that's kind of close too. All right, we'll go straight down. Let me fill up on oxygen. We'll go straight down. Oxygen good. Straight down. Here we go. Ooh, I see shiny stuff on this asteroid here. What are you? Can I collect you? Metal of some kind. Aluminum. Oh, I need to make a drill. Okay. 
All right, put that on the list of things to do. Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Oh, God, he was murdered. Handcuffed to his bed? He's got a condom on his head. It is unlikely that he suffocated from this. Being in a spacesuit, where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. What is this? A light bulb? Okay. Oh, yeah, he was beaten to death with a hammer. What else do we have around here? Alcohol. Oh, another light bulb down here. Oh, oxygen. Would you leave me alone? Oh, what is this? A note? He betrayed our marriage, pervert, cheater. He deserved it. Oh, yeah, he was murdered. He was murdered. I'm going to get murdered by the lack of oxygen in a second. I have no idea if you die instantly when you run out of oxygen or if it just starts ticking away at your health. Either way, we're going to find out because I'm not making it back. Oh, it starts ticking away at your health. It's kind of slow, so you get a few extra seconds. Okay. But yeah, my health is not looking good. I think, babe, forgive my accent. Humanity, humanity fly all over galaxy, but never make a good translator. Are you saving me? Shut up. I think I can go to bed though and maybe get my health back. Yeah, that worked. I'm a little more hungry and thirsty now, but that's, that's a fair trade off. Okay. I think it said something about a drill. Can I make a drill? I can if I get refined metal and thick electrical tape. No problem, actually. Let's go put this to use on that aluminum. Is that a... Oh, more fabric. Just laying there the whole time. Cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go put this drill to the test against this aluminum down here. Drill. Yep, that works. Three aluminum. Not bad. There was another one here. Three more. I'm sure aluminum will be used for something eventually. Get some more oxygen, then we can decide where we're going next because we finished that one, I think, mostly. Maybe we'll go check out what's right here. This is pretty close. The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. So this is cooling gel, and apparently we can freeze if we're around here for Judging too long. The amount of joy around, what is this? This is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This it's a toilet. Oh, God, this poor little rodent. We'll leave you there. That there may be large reserves of water from the shower oh, yellowish nearby. water. The is do we need yellowish water for something? I'm sure we did. I'm sure of it. What else is around here? Oh, yeah, one of these. And we got some refined metal for free. What is this? An oxygen candle. Apparently, this will give us plus 40 oxygen. I'm just going to use it now because I'm about out of oxygen. Yeah, I'm back at 51. Oh, those are nice. And I have a blueprint to make those now. So good. We can get around a little bit longer. What else do we have? Oh, something right over here. More cooling gel. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but oh, put God. your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half oh. of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. Dude was smashed by the cooling gel. Towards clients. Open, open, open. Loot. All right, quickly, let's get back. Oh, it looks like there's stuff on this asteroid. What is that? Alkali. Okay, wow. There's alkali next to the ship. We'll drill that up in just a second. If it takes a drill, what is this? Oh, ice. Okay. Big nodes of ice as well. All right. Can I drill you? A grabber required. Okay. I think I know how to make a grabber, actually. So those oxygen candles only take metal and batteries. So I'm going to make one and just kind of carry it around with me. That way, just in case of an emergency, I can have a little bit of spare oxygen. A grabber. Looks like I have everything I need. Make it. Come here, alkali. What do you do? Go in my pocket. It didn't give me a blueprint, but I'm sure we'll need it for something. I found more aluminum. I love it. Give me all that. And then what is going on here? Okay, yep. Yep, just maybe neutralize? How do you neutralize? Oh no, not my grandpa's chicken. Is it dead? Chicken on a stick. Well, that gets rid of the electricity so I don't hurt myself. All right, let's break these and get back to the ship. Yeah, I got the stuff. Let's go. Where to next? Uh, oh yeah, straight below us. This looks important because it actually has a waypoint. So we definitely want to go here. The largest condom in the world, and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. What in the world? The largest no condom? The condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal. Oh, thoughts. sweet! Learn how to make something called an oxygen balloon, and there's all these oxygen candles around here. That's really nice. Oh yeah, another one. All right, oxygen balloon. Uh, but first, what is this? Let's check this out. 
The service supply compartment, almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be in luck if you managed to get inside. A damaged door scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. Okay, we've got to use a scanner to scan the scanner. How do we make a scanner? Okay, examine it, and now I have a blueprint for a scanner. Okay, so we got to go make the scanner before we can get in the door. Says I can break the door, though, with this, but that would probably take forever. So we'll just go make a scanner to scan the scanner with our scanner. Oh, that's right, the oxygen balloon. Now, this looks like it's going to go actually on our spacesuit because it's under the equipments tab. And it says oxygen reserve plus 25. I think this is how we extend our breath in outer space. So let's see. A condom, a wire, two plastic, and a thick electrical tape. Condom, wire, two plastic, and then I can make thick electrical tape out of that rubber. Let's go. One oxygen balloon. And now I should be able to take this and put it right here. And yes, a hundred oxygen now. Ooh, plus those oxygen candles. Yes, 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 yes. Now what about the scanner? Metal battery plastic light bulb. I've got two light bulbs, thank goodness. So we'll use one for the scanner. And yep, we can make it. Which also means I should be able to scan my first aid kit and learn how to make first aid. Can I scan anything else in here? That didn't look like it. I kind of walked around the room. I don't see anything else to scan. Okay. But I do know that we can scan this scanner with our scanner. Oh, 100 oxygen is so nice now. I don't feel nearly as stressed. Okay, scanning the scanner now. Ooh. All right, let's go in. 